Just three straightforward steps and our number is converted from negative decimal to a binary number. So without wasting time, let's get started. So here we have negative 13 number and we are going to convert a binary equivalent to this negative 13. <clears throat> so first we'll write 2 raised to 0, 1, 2 and 3 and we'll write equivalent decimal number 1, 2, 4 and 8. First we'll convert a positive 13 into binary and then we'll convert that into negative number. So in order to convert this decimal into binary, we'll add these numbers together. So first we'll take this 8 and we'll add this 4 into 8. So it will become 12. Now if we add 2, it will become 14. So our number is 13, right? So we'll take it 0. So we'll not add this 2. Then again, we'll add this 1. So 8 plus 4, 12 plus 1, 13. So this is the binary equivalent to positive 13. Now it's time to convert into negative. So whenever you want to convert it into negative binary number, there are two rules. The first is you supposed to convert to first complement and then you supposed to convert that into two's complement. So let's do it over here. But before moving ahead, I would like to point out a very important thing and that is the representation of the number is in how many bits. Here the number is represented in 4 bits. You can represent number in 4 bit, 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit in this manner, right? So here we are representing this number, the same number in 8 bit manner. You can even solve it using only 4 bit manner. But why I am taking 8 bit that I will tell you little later. So the first step is to convert this into 1's complement. So when we want to take 1's complement, it's very simple. Whenever there is 0, write 1 and whenever there is 1, write 0. So this is the 1's complement of our number. Now we'll go for 2's complement. In order to get 2's complement, we're supposed to add plus 1 into 1's complement. And whatever answer we'll get, that will become our 2's complement. So here we'll add plus 1 into this number. So it will become 1, this one as it is and the remaining number will be as it is. <clears throat> so this is our 2's complement representation and this number is binary equivalent to negative 13. If you are using 4 bit representation then you supposed to write 0 0 1 1 and if you are using 8 bit representation you supposed to write in this manner. Now you just dive into our animated playlist on number system, logic gates and more in digital electronics. It is specially designed for you. So get ready to explore the digital electronics world and to explore that the link is given in description and above here in i button. Now it's time to verify this answer whether this answer is correct or not. So in order to verify what we'll do, we'll take this number and we'll try to convert back it to decimal number. So let's convert this binary into decimal. So get ready with this decimal numbers and then multiply it with our number 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1. But now here this is the minus 1. Why it is minus 1? Because your most significant bit is one that represent it is a negative number. So here we are taking this as a minus one. And why are we supposed to do it? If you want to understand that thing in detail, I have explained all these things in my previous separate video. So you can watch that video to clarify this concept of taking minus one. So now we'll multiply this 128 with minus 1. So it's minus 128, it's 64, 32, 16, 0, 0, 2 and 1. And now it's time to add all these things together. So when we add all these things together, we'll get minus 13. So that is how we can say that this binary number is equivalent to minus 13. Now pause for a moment and tell me, what will be the binary of negative decimal minus 56 and your options are this pause the video calculate it and post the answer in comment section below and then we'll verify that how many of you gives the correct answer now let's jump for the next example and here our next example is 108 so we're supposed to convert minus 108 into binary 
so first we'll write 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 so 1 2 4 8 16 20, 32 and 64 a decimal equivalent and now we're supposed to add the numbers which will gives us the total as 108 so first we'll take 64 as this 64 is less than 108 so we'll take 64 and then there is 32 so if we add 32 into 64 it becomes 96 yes so we'll add this 32 <clears throat> now if we add 16 into this it will become 112 so we'll skip this 16 and then we'll jump to next now we'll add 8 so if we add 8 it will become 104 so we'll add 8 now we'll add 4 so when we add 4 into 104 it will become 108 so we got 108 so now we do not supposed to add this 2 and 1 so this 1101100 is the binary equivalent to positive 108 now it's time to convert it into negative and for that we have clear two rules so first we'll write this number into 8-bit number so this is the 8-bit representation this number is already of 7-bit so we're supposed to add only one zero to convert it into 8-bit now we'll take one's complement of this number so wherever there is zero we'll write one and wherever there is one we'll write zero and now it's time to take 2's complement of this number so in order to get 2's complement we're supposed to add plus 1 so 1 plus 1 0 and there is 1 carry now again 1 plus 1 the sum is 0 and 1 carry now 1 plus 0 1 0 as it is 1 0 0 and 1 so now this number is the binary equivalent to minus 108 and we can write this thing in this manner so we'll use the same previous method we'll multiply this binary numbers with this decimal number and the most significant bit will keep it as minus so minus 1 into 128 gives us minus 128 plus 64 into 0 gives us 0 32 into 0 gives us 0, 16, 0, 4, 0 and 0. So when we add these things together, the answer will become minus 108. So from this number, we can say that this binary is exactly equivalent to minus 108. So with this, it is also important to learn how to convert fractional decimal to binary and the reverse process. So for that, I would request you to watch our next video into the playlist. And for creating crystal clear concepts in digital electronics, you can refer these playlists on digital electronics. So see you in that video.